Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on AMIRAC UV3 version. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can uh, use MIDI input from AUM directly into uh, AMIRAC as a UV3 instance. So let's click on the plus sign and let's create an audio channel and let's add to that audio channel AMIRAC like so. Perfect. So now let's go to the setting on the left, let's connect the keyboard, which we will start to use as a first example to send the MIDI event. And then we will use also a um, another instance, so for example, step out to send a sequence directly into a MI rack. In order to do that, we will create also a simple patch. So let's click on a MI rack and, cast and, uh, and uh, maximize the window. So let's click on the plus sign let's click tags let's scroll down to the bottom and let's add uh, a synth voice and let's use the nfm operator so double click on it okay now let's click and move this to the left let's click on the plus sign again let's scroll up and uh, actually let's scroll where it says midi let's click on midi and let's double click on midi one and uh, let's move this to the left so this is our input, our that um, will collect the MIDI um, events. Okay, perfect. So let's connect that CV into the V oct of the FM operator, voltage octave, and then let's connect the gate from the MIDI module to the gate input of the FM operator. So in this case, we have established from the AUV3, the host, accepting through all channels, a control voltage signals, which will be your note, which will be inputted here on the voltage octave input of the FM operator and also gate signals, which will come from MIDI, of course. So uh, let's connect, uh, um, let's actually add uh, a mixer as well, like so. Mixer 4, double click, and let's connect the output to the input of the mixer and the, um, actually before I connect the mixer, because it will start to um, play straight away the FM operator. Let me enable the uh, envelope here, clicking on here, so that the envelope will be also active on the FM operator. So I can then set up my attack, decrease, sustain, sorry, decay, uh, sustain, and release. So let's collect the output now. Right, okay, let's bring up our keyboard and let's click play. As you can see, works straight away. Perfect. Now, let's add a couple of more things. So let's scroll down here. Before we go to the mixer, let's move the mixer. So let's make it more interesting. So let's click on the plus sign. Let's go to the filter of ECF and let's add a simple uh, filter like so. So before uh, uh, going to the mixer, we go to the input of the filter and then from the output of the filter, we go to the mixer. Let's play. Perfect, let's uh, decrease a bit of the cutoff and increase the, uh, the resonance. Okay, let's change here, let's increase the decay on the envelope. Let's remove the sustain completely. Okay, and let's have a little bit more of the release. Let's play a game. Okay, as this is an FM operator, let's uh, enable uh, the envelope on, on the feedback and increase the feedback now. Okay. Let's increase a bit more. Okay, perfect. So let's add something else again. Let's move. Um, this filter to the left and let's add um, for example a delay so here we are let's add a simple delay that let's double click on it so again let's take the output from the filter and go inside the input of the delay let's take the output of the delay go to the mixer let's decrease a bit the timing like so for the delay let's play let's make it more wet Let's decrease again the time. 
okay perfect let's leave it like that for the, for now and then let's add uh, also a reverb like that with this one so d and verb let's double click again let's take the output from the delay go to the input the two input left and right of the m verb like so and then let's connect the left and uh, uh, right of that um and verb directly to the mixer let's play okay let's decrease again a bit more the timing okay that's fine wetter okay perfect so this is one way as you can see we created a, qu a quick patch and we can send um, um, notes or MIDI signal directly from the keyboard inside the UM of course there is another way that you can do this you, and this is the beauty now of having also a my rack as a an audio unit instance so let's click on the plus sign let's click on MIDI do I have a MIDI channel? Let's click on the plus sign again. Let's search for a MIDI processor and let's uh, select step bud. Let's connect to the left hand side here of my, uh, my rack to step bud, like so. Let's open uh, step bud. Let's maximize this. Let's change the scale to a uh, minor scale, like so. And let's increase the steps to. Um, 16, like so. Okay, uh, let's, um, let's move this up, hide the keyboard and, and increase the size so I can see better the screen and let's randomly create a bit of melody. Uh, for the purpose of this exercise it doesn't really matter so that you can hear that it is probably working. So let's try. <laughs> And of course, as you know, you are in AUM, so you can enable this for recording. I'm a rack and put recording. Finish the recording, so let's go to the menu. Let's go to files and um, let's go to recording and let's choose the last one which we just recorded now. Let's click play. <laughs> Perfect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You have seen how to send MIDI uh, signals directly from uh, the AUM keyboard inside the AUM and how to create a quick, quickly a patch which receives MIDI inputs. You also have seen how it is, how easy it is now to connect another application like a MIDI processor to send directly MIDI events to MIRAC. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.